Hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone that's watching. We're gonna continue playing High on Life. This will be part five of this series. And I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy. And let's get right into it. Hey, asshole, come over here right now. Sorry for you. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know what? that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. Do you want it cum or what? I'm buy some. Fucking hell yeah, we'll buy some alien cum. Wow, you just went right for it. Didn't even ask any questions. <laughs> Didn't even ask how much it costs. Ha <laughs> ha. I knew I was right about you. I knew you loved alien cum. Well, here, have this alien cum on the house. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Glam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. All right, for sure. Alien cum. Okay, so we're doing a little boundary here. I think it's this cobra here. 2000 for it? All right. Bad. Here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. What does that shit do? Yeah, hey there, bounty mode hunter. Activated. It's me, Sudo again. I'm still Detective. here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? <laughs> all right, for let's real. see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately. And... No matches found. Oh, <laughs> well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, hmm. Gene. <laughs> Where the fuck are we asking here, bro? There, this interrogation is not over yet. Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Did Blurdo seem a little dodgy to you? I swear, I feel like he's hiding something. That's right, yeah. Let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me. So, uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. <laughs> it's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? It's not even a die. Hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Okay. We go Holy back to the shit. chest. Wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay. Woo that was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head mm -hmm. over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblets, so leave me alone. Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's. 
piece of shit. I'm gonna kill him. <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here. If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead. Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Hmm. Whoa, great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation. I figured I'd share that, but nothing else really. Nothing sad. Nothing happy. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hmm. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right here. I can't believe I'm telling you, telling you to be careful. But guess what? I kind of care about you now. So sue me. Okay, so, so we're looking for this new high-end oh, yeah, life hey, store. Hey, yeah. Hopefully the slums are Again, a little more chill now that we took out Nine Torg. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose with. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. All of them. Oh, whoa, 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 Let's go, baby. Ship can go beat. Thank you. 
always the right choice. Door number 7923. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, Pseudo. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Um, the... We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Uh, is this illegal? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. But you expect me. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Hmm. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Damn. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Oh, fuck you. You look like you work here. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Okay. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. 
I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your hyperbong? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm gonna have to Ooh, buy this boy, shit. they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Man. Maybe I'll purchase something. Okay, this is the last person. Here. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Man. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like that poke in that beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Hey, fuck y'all. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? I guess. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was really. Why well, take them boots? A lot of people think mag boots is short for magnetic boots because they have magnets on their soles. Okay. Fuck with these. Bag. Yeah, that's fine. Those mag boots. Okay, oh, that's look, nice. I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very hey, useful. Hey, sick moves! You make some good use of those mag boots. Using those things. This is kind of fucked, though. That dead guy boots. Here we go wow. again. Oh, back up. Where did you go? Oh, great. Yeah, let's go into the toxic oh, shit. I forgot we could do this. Let's 
so we can go this way. Here we go. Mm, this is nice. Are we fighting some guys or just hanging out? I'm down for whatever. Shit, I don't know, gang. Place looks safe. We've got time. company. Hello there. Oh, hey, you guys were really funny earlier. Don't worry, hmm. they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash, buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. Hmm. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been warping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, mm. check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. We get to meet a famous guy? Okay. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hello. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Oh, that's oh, yeah. a good idea. I think we were already going to do that, but then we hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. You're being hard to understand. Just tell us where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then you want us <laughs> to, you know... Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Wow, look! That's gonna be helpful, thank you! Make What's like this? What did we just pick up? Oh, right. Sorry. You're doing the map great data to get work. Dr. Giblets. Forgot. I'm on the same page now. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad. Well, that's Plug. his dad. They're my kid. Down. Motherfuckers talk. How'd it go? I think really good. Clock may or may not have shown us where Dr. Giblets is. I'm a little confused, as usual. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. I can't what? Get out there and kill you.
have attempted to use the DOA call at the Dickinson farm on the hitting dispatch 146. We have a double DOA 1052 call at the Dickinson farm. Let's check this map. We're looking for a place with a Z. There it is. Yes, sir. Here we go, bitch. Damn, how far is this shit? This is the one we dropped like in a few episodes ago. Wait, wait, where are you going? Go back. Let's fight some more. No, there's too many. Motherfucker, is that?
all of them my damn so many what's going down okay who we fighting okay yep got it Chambler with extra I don't know what that is, but it may be useful. How the hell I get to that side? Oh, that's lit. You're the where? Oh, thank God, thank God. You had to do it, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg, you, you know? Do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? No. Sweezy's out, fucker! I had to kill him, bro. I mean, I even mean to the do that. The G3 doesn't stand a chance. Here huh. we go! I don't even know why I did that. Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Well, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. About here. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Huh, oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right, then. Let's, let's keep moving. Damn. All really right, here's Batman my new more. theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was tort... Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Hmm. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, pseudo! G get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. Finally, didn't I try to scan this? Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Damn. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! The show. Well, we got a hacker here, bro. 
All right, I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go, go find more clues, me? baby. Damn, this is some Joker shit here. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Diblitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. <laughs> what the oh, fuck shit, is that? Oh shit, that's a Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Maybe if you unlock this door here. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go Damn. kill Dr. Giblets. That was fucked. Oh, look at us go! So you telling me you can't unlock this door right here? John, that's him. Oh, he died already. Trying to show off. Well, okay. Uh, I guess Dr. Giblets went and killed himself for us. That was anticlimactic. Jesus Christ, no way. that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add him. Hey, no fucking way. <laughs> he really what? The hardest Dr. guy to kill. Giblet status report: No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello! If you're hearing this pre recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Holy Congratulations, crap. you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave! Another ambush! That's detective life for you. Just what I needed. So many Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm totally trapped in here. All the prey to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. Oh shit, I'm gonna die here. The inheritance? My life? Or just a plain old space edifice card? Just wanted to cover all my bases here. Good luck using the jetpack. But it's 
everyone Nipulon, he's the second in command. Oh shit. 
What is that shit? Nebulon, you've been here from the start. Gramantuous's favorite right hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. He wanted them all for yourself. Truth be told, I always was scared of you. Can't imagine the evil you're capable of. I'm not even sure I can defeat you. But I have to try! All of them? You're a tough one, Nibulon. I'm throwing everything I have at you, but can you survive? Gonna get oh, this new gun here. That fuck. That's Ew. bad. Look at him just hanging there. I hate to say it, but he might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. <laughs> oh shit. I just wanted to say, you know, to 
today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. <laughs> oh, thank God! Okay, bounty hunter, you go through the menus, you find that detective mode, you shut it the fuck off! Never again, okay? I'm serious! <laughs> delete it, just delete it! Oh, look at that! You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself! See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Let it go! Come on over, let's bow wow! Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit! That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he he's, he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Damn. Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. <laughs> But, you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Mm. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay. Okay, come on over. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? Give me the bad news. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Okay, what about the good news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me. Uh, yes, sir. Our favorite people, our favorite... Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh, change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. What? We'll hold down the bar. <laughs> All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, we're, let's find your sister. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? It's the dream uh, team. So, Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that, so your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll we're gonna... Oh, what the hell just really happened? Weird and really drawn out. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem like something that people are gonna wanna watch. Hey, do your best and have fun. You think I yes, forgot sir. you sided with this dipshit instead mm. of me? No, I. Crouch mode. It's like more of a detective, right? Broken leg guy still here. See you later. I was gonna finish the episode, but I might as well go to Abbey Beans. Never been there. Oh let's boy. just play so chill. That, um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's see if we can fix him up and, he, you know, back alive. The thing is... Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly. Or, or you know, like, communicate um, the, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that, that, that the others don't know. And it's like, hey, it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's, it, it, okay, no, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Oh, damn. I wonder what it is. Sorry, I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Well, we're gonna find out. Space Applebee's. Welcome to Applebee's. 
Table for two? Right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Damn, we're eating at Applebee's. Sp space Applebee's. My bad. Is this how the real Applebee's be looking like? Because I've never been. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank oh, you. Damn, we can move. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Yeah, show. The show. Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Yeah. Sorry. Of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? <sighs> okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, 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 I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, what? welcome to Applebee's. I'm gonna be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Um, a cap, mama, mama. Okay, sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. Damn. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. <laughs> I get the um the chicken quesadilla or crispy boneless wings. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay, oh, right. Um, Obviously, a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers. And, well, you know, that led us to the G3. And Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me. You know, a talking gun with endless firepower. And, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was. You know, I, I really do. But at the time, I couldn't tell. You know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. You no, know, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something. You know. Open up. Here comes the mm, appetizer train. Chicka 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 choo choo. Oh, those Thank you. Look nice. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. Um, the I'll get the salmon. No, the shrimp salad. I don't know what this is. You betcha. I'm gonna get that order right to the cook. So okay, thank you. Clicked on it. So. I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except yeah. Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important <laughs> baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Oh, Lizzie? Shit. Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. Not finish that sentence. We're in okay, love. we gotta get to them. Oh, shit. 
didn't even get to eat. Those fries look good too. Hold up. Oh shit, yeah. We I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Yeah, facts. Oh fuck. Okay, this 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 changes shit. This is bad. What? I'm here live in downtown Blue City where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> Everybody and their mama was killed. Ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you are that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Holy crap. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. You said you wouldn't do the job on bounty hunting, right? So you really were, so I made some new commercials with you in the Just oh, to keep you for business I wonder. Well. Let's just say they had your house address. And now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house. So, they're taking the house? Get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me and have the other guns. My bad. Fucking, as if it couldn't get any worse. Oh shit. I thought I cleared this doing? place. We, we gotta get to the house! Big one incoming! Oh, you're fucking with a weapon, you're scared to me. Don't fuck with weapons! Get ready for another wave, bounty hunter! What? I'll try cracking you to death with mine! Fighting everybody, we just need to get home. On my way, sir. Come on, come on, keep up the pace. We, we, we have to get back to the house. That's right, let's go. We're gonna hurry. Oh, yeah, I've been here the whole time, but, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a huh. snitch. <laughs> Why are we going so slow? Hey, what's going on, best buddy? Hey, just so you know, man, it looks like really upset when you trip over the place, gang. Holy shit, they're fucking everywhere! Get to the house! Come on, we gotta get to the fucking house! Surprised to see me, bounty hunter! Oh shit. <laughs> you fuck with the wrong crime syndicate! It's all over! Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me heal you nice and easy. We know everything about you, and we still have two oh-so-special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in, and nobody has to get hurt. We're leaving. Got it. Hey, don't forget about us! Pick them up. Yeah, the walk's ready, but... Can we go? G3 won't fall. I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Hennison maneuver mid warp to juke them? Can I what? Can you make that up? Can you scramble the warp? Fine, yes, yeah, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Where the fuck is that? The warp core. Listen carefully and enter these exact coordinates. 8, 9, 2, dash, 1, 7, 4, 2, 2, 2, 6, 5, 3, 4, 4, Holy crap. Fucking 5, 5, 5. That's right. Of the 4, 3, dash, 2, 1, 1, 8, 7, 4. Scramble top. And here we go. Oh, shit. What is going on? The whole goddamn house. Different universe. Fuck! That was close. 
I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. 230? Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but, uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmos bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Holy shit. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Damn, this planet just went to shit. And I almost died too. How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, Not uh, bad. Don't get all depressed about it. We've still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. All right, let's regroup. This motherfucker. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Lips control. Thanks. And like so, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like seriously, come on. We're best friends now. And I can know <sighs> All right. Good night. Conscience in my coaches. Guys, I wish I have had a gun like that. Talk to me. You say some stupid shit. I think that means Friday. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little something something. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. Ooh. You're welcome. Oh, down. Then I'll be down. Let's get to business. I've got something you'll like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. 